Uh, let's bring in former FBI Deputy Assistant Director Danny Colson to react to what we've seen unfold so far. Uh, good evening, Danny. Thanks so much for being with us tonight. Thank you for having me. All right. Well, first of all, uh, you created a whole hostage unit within the FBI. You created it and you commanded it. Let's go through some of the psychology of what we're experiencing right now and what what's going on with the players. Obviously, this is a this is a situation that can be very explosive. It's volatile, but we've got one hostage released. What does that tell you? Well, I think we have to look at the history of these guys, and I have some familiarity with what they do. Um, one of their techniques is to take hostages, uh, act like they're negotiating, and uh, they do that to delay and delay and delay. And while they delay, oftentimes they'll prepare for carnage. Um, they want to be in a position to kill as many people as they can as quickly as possible, and they'll actually set it up. Um, they have to be very conscious of that, and they know that. They know more about the situation. They're as equally familiar with how to do these things as I am, but a lot more, frankly. Interesting. And uh, that's what scares me right now. Um, I don't want this guy to become a martyr. I don't want to give him the opportunity. Mm -hmm. So it has to be a, a great balance between the commander's choice here and the negotiators to decide, are we going to get these guys out or we have to go in and get them out? And that's, that's what makes these th things so hard, why they're so stressful, and why it takes so much training. And these agents know they make the wrong choice here, they're going to be second guessed forever. Oh, wow. And yeah. um, it's, it's a very stressful situation. We need to pray for them, uh, for the hostages, and let's get this thing done. And um, I, I like one of the guests on uh, uh, your network a couple of minutes ago talk about the guy gets tired. Hopefully mm -hmm. he does. But you got to remember, they come here with amphetamines and nuts and things to energize themselves. So they can go a long time. And hopefully uh, fatigue will uh, take, uh, take over. And this guy will say, okay, I'm done and get out of it. But, you know, you talk about how the time benefits the hostage taker. The time should also, I would think, benefit us, law enforcement, because they have a, be they have a chance to understand what's going on, to get some intelligence now from the one hostage who's been released, to find out what the layout is, to get the blueprints of the building before they make a decision as to how they're going to handle it. You're absolutely right. That's 100% right. It works for both. It works in favor of both of us. Also, the most significant thing has been the release of the hostage. Uh, we'll get one important information from him, and that is, does he have a gun? Does mm -hmm. he have a scimitar? Does he have a knife? And hopefully he does not. Um, I think likely he may very well be armed, and they need to know that because he's talked about he's going to die tonight, and um, I don't want to see it become a suicide by cop thing, right. but also don't want him to kill hostages. So, no, it's, it's, it's difficult, and you're right. Time works on both sides for but, us but, and for them. But, but, Danny, the fact that he let one hostage out who, uh, who had the ability for uh, you know close to six hours at that point to assess what was going on, he knows that that person, will give the intelligence that the hostage taker wants law enforcement to know. Yeah. Judge, you cannot put your brilliant brain in their mind. It doesn't work like that. They don't think like you do. They don't think like we do. Also, I'm going to give you another scenario. He may be directed by somebody. There may be somebody calling the shots. Often in these types of situations, somebody maybe in Pakistan, maybe someplace else, is telling him what to do by cell phone. That's happened many times. I've seen it regularly, especially with Pakistanis. All right. Danny Colson, we love having you on. Thanks so much. Thank you.